Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I was at a garage sale yesterday and I couldn't pass this up. It was 50 cents. It's a Cake Doctor cookbook. And this lady turns um, just an ordinary box of cake mix into like a, a different kind of yummy dessert. And I saw one in here for key lime pound cake. And I am such a sucker for anything key lime. So I'm gonna try to make it. Now, of course, you're gonna need the key lime juice. Now, you can just buy this on the um, juice aisle. If you can find fresh ones, um, go ahead and use those, but they're really hard to find. And we're gonna need some sweetened condensed milk, some uh, Jello instant vanilla pudding, some butter, vanilla, and eggs. So it seems like a really simple recipe, but sounds so good. So let's get baking. All right, let's get started, shall we? So we're just gonna take a large mixing bowl, and basically this is a dump everything in the bowl recipe. <laughs> and those are always my favorite. So I just put the pudding mix in, and now I'm putting the yellow cake. Now it did say that you could use a white cake as well, so whichever you prefer. And then we're gonna need our one stick of um, softened room temperature butter, okay, and a half a cup of the sweetened condensed milk. Now I went ahead and I put some cooking spray in this uh, measuring cup, and that way it will be easier to come out. So see, most of it came out, okay. And then we're gonna need a half a cup of the key lime juice, which is quite a bit. So I'm thinking this is gonna be nice and lime tasting. All right, and then we need our four eggs. Have any of you ever been to um, Key West, Florida? You know, that's where they have all like the key limes and the desserts, and they're kind of famous for starting the key lime pie. It's so beautiful down there. I used to live in Florida for a year when I was 18, and um, it was a really fun time. All right, so I have my eggs in there, and now I'm putting my one teaspoon of vanilla. Oop, splash more. Okay. And then um, the last thing we're gonna need, which I didn't mention at the beginning, is we're gonna need a half a cup of water. And that's all the ingredients that we're gonna need, so let's go ahead and mix this up. Now I always start it on low first so it doesn't go flying everywhere. <clears throat> now it's said to actually beat it on low for a minute. And then to uh, scrape down the sides of the bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then to beat it another minute and a half. So I'll come back after I'm done. Okay, so we're all done and it's a nice, very thick batter. All right, I have to just take a tiny taste. I know it has raw eggs in it, but I just wanna see how, how, how the lime taste is. Oh my goodness. You can totally taste the lime. Yum, yay. Now we're just gonna put it in a grease bun pan, bake at 325 for about 40 minutes or until a toothpick just comes out clean, you don't wanna over bake it. Then I let it cool for 20 minutes, put it out on my cake plate, and we're gonna make a very simple glaze. It's just um, 
some powdered sugar and some of the key lime juice now the recipe called for one cup plus i think a tablespoon of the juice and you're just gonna mix it till it forms like this smooth glaze and then once the cake is pretty much cold you can drizzle that over the top however i thought it needed more glaze it just looked too naked <laughs> so i made an extra batch and poured it on the top i thought it came out looking better as well as tasting better because you got even more of the lime flavor um, i don't like skimpy glaze guys what can i say <laughs> And now this is just going to take maybe 20 minutes before um, it will dry. And then all I did was um, just cut up some lime slices and I just decorated uh, the top just for decoration. And it came out so pretty. You guys, this was fabulous. Super moist, super tangy. Give it a try. Okay, you know what time it is. Let's give this a try. Now, I just think it came out so pretty. I love the little, um, the lime slices on the top. And um, it's just a nice rustic looking bundt cake. And I've been patiently waiting to cut into this. <laughs> now I'm gonna try a little bite with the glaze, just so I can taste that um, with the cake. Mm, mm. so good it's actually making my mouth pucker it's that much of a lime taste especially when you get that glaze now i'm just going to try a little piece without the glaze and see if it still has that really strong lime taste mm -hmm. it definitely does but not as much as when you pair it with the glaze. It's super moist, it's light. Mm, this guys is a winner. Definitely make this if you're into lime dessert. And it was so easy. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just click that little red box and we will see you at the next episode. Bye everybody.